Hi, welcome to another video of NK Services. Today we're going to be looking at um, water flow controllers. So um, we're looking at uh, the uni valve, but also a tap valve as well. See what the differences are, and see what other options you could use for cleaning windows. Okay, so before we look at the um, flow controllers in which I use, I just wanted to mention that I use the 8mm reinforced microbore hose, 100 metres. Okay, on the end of that, I have this. This is my main um, choice of bore valve. So as you can see there, that's open. That allows the water to go straight through. By closing it, you can see the, uh, the bore is closed. So it's just a simple um, case of turning on and turning off. So I've got that fitted to my main hose, like so. And on the end, I have a push fit fitting, which again is 8mm uh, for the 8mm pole hose that I use. Okay, so this simply fits into my holster, like so. Okay, I apologise for the dodgy edge seen just there, but that's fitted on the holster, which is normally on my belt, on my side. Okay, so you can see in that position. So from that position, if it's on my waist, I can just simply drop my arm down and spin it on lift it up it makes it relatively easy I'm allowing to uh, keep hold of the pole whichever height I'm using the pole if I'm using it at uh, first story height or second story height it's important that you need to have a good hold on your pole so with one hand I can still hold the pole anywhere whilst my other hand just simply drops my side flick it on switch it off smooth operation Okay, it doesn't necessarily stop the, the speed of the flow. You can use it for that if you want it to by only turning it slightly. However, this is purely to turn on and off the method in which I use. Okay, let's have a look at the second option. So this is the second option that um, I use and m many others um, also. It's a Univalve by Exceed. Okay, so this basically um, interrupts the flow of water coming up here and out of there. And it's quite simple to fit. It comes as a one-piece unit, which is simply connect um, your pole holes to both ends, making sure that uh, you have this as the, the bottom and this as the top end. And then that simply slides inside your pole, like so. It is recommendable, recommendable. <laughs> it is recommended to put uh, an O clip here just to stop this from pulling. The reason being, to activate the uni valve, you need to tug at the end of your pole on the pole holes to turn the water on and off. Okay, hopefully you can pick this up. But basically, to turn it on, it's pulling. Okay, so I do apologise for the poor editing of this video. I'm still getting to, uh, to grips with the software packaging, etc. Okay, but basically they're the two options that I use uh, to control the flow of the water. Um, the one that I personally prefer is the hose pipe around my waist, the holster and the bore valve. Uh, because it's quite long, I can just tap down with my hand uh, to turn it on and off whilst I'm still holding the pole. So I've still got full control. And it just literally takes a couple of seconds just to drop the arm and to uh, turn the water on and off. Because the hose pipe is around my waist, I, um, I don't have to worry about where the hose pipe is because the pole hose is always at my side. So I don't have to tug it or um, scrape any connections on the floor while I'm uh, carrying the pole or the, uh, the hose um, or anything of that nature. The Univalve, um, I've not been a big fan of that or, um, in the past since it came out. However, I use um, the blue pole that you saw me uh, fit the Univalve to. I use that on a trolley system, uh, which I only use periodically. Um, and my wife is also coming out working with me now. So I wanted something quick and easy and not too bulky for her to use. So I started using the Univalve. Um, I, I like it. Um, I don't have to worry about the um, connect, uh, fittings. Um, because it's on my trolley, which you might have seen in previous video, it's on a retractable um, hose. And I can just push my pole holes into it. So there's nothing around the waist for my uh, wife to worry about. She can just simply pull out the hose pipe and 
go go work. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to, uh, mostly because you've got to find the the end of the the pole uh, to get the holes to to give it a, a tug to turn it on and off. Um, turning it on and off is is really really easy. Um, so in that sense, it's it's very good. I do like it. Um, my only drawback on it is you yeah, having to over the end of the pole to to get the holes to 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 tug it. Um, but I think that's more because I've used the, the other system method uh, for the last three years. And I've only used this for the last couple of months. Uh, so I do like it. The Univalve is, is very, very good. And I know there's many window cleaners who swear by the Univalves. Um, and for them, that, that's fantastic. Um, personally, I think the, the, the method in which it works is, is ideal. It just takes some getting used to to... Um, hold the pole if you're working uh, upstairs for instance and your pole's uh, extended uh, to mess about holding the pole to be able to tug the end uh, whereas on the main system that I have I can just simply hold the pole switch, swing down with my arm turn it on and off it doesn't matter where I'm actually holding the pole to support it um, so that's swings and roundabouts for both they are both very good methods in, in which to use and I hope this has been useful for you. Okay, thank you for watching.